It's good. That's the energy. Tell me about energy, because you seem to be deep into like spiritual sciences. I know you love herbs. You have a, a nice selection of videos on YouTube. Thank you, Caprice. Tell me what's going on in the world. What you see in the near future as far as spiritual growth for our people? Because mm. I see the economic system collapsing, and what I've learned is that when one thing is going down, another thing is going up. Yeah. So if this system is collapsing, do you see... Likewise, a rise in our people, a rebirth, any consciousness going on? Well, I think I only see a rebirth if people focus on getting back to what's real. You know what I'm saying? I think if we're focused on, just like you said, my thing is the herbs. And I've spent some time really trying to get in touch with the land, right? Okay. And so I feel like those of us who are really interested in getting in touch with what's real, if we learn how to grow our own food, how to create our own medicines, and if we learn how to pull together more as a community, mm -hmm. those of us who are like-minded, mm -hmm. that's what's going to rise, you know, as this all falls. It's definitely going to be a sense of community and a sense of self-sufficiency. Like, my thing is I want to learn how to build. That's the next thing I want to learn. Okay. I mean, as like tiny as I am, right? yes, that's one of the things that I would like to learn how to do. Because I feel like, as a people, we've really, really lost the skills that we have with our hands. That's all of them, you know, all of them. A lot of us can't even cook, right? And that might sound like, oh, what are you talking about? You know, putting folks back in the kitchen, putting folks back in the field. No, I'm talking about self-sufficiency. And so I see those of us who are paying attention, getting together, and just trying to be more self-sufficient. That's what I think is I totally rise. agree. I believe that we should buy land, and we should feed our children off the land. Oh, yeah. I that's believe that less animals should be slaughtered, but that's my personal belief, you know? I think that um, the mass slaughtering of animals by society, the side effect, the karma from that, is causing more wars and more diseases on the planet Earth. Mm. We well, have to get that, uh, that, that, and um, not treating women properly. Oh, definitely. Those two things? Definitely. Definitely, you know, and Mother Nature is called Mother Nature for a reason. Gotcha. You know? So, but I'm with you on that, Caprice. You can't mm -hmm. just disrespect the spirits of all those animals in the way that, you know, you take 20,000 cows and you just slaughter all of them with these machines. You're right, brother. Yeah, so, you know, I think it's the time for change is here. The resurrection is happening. It just so happens, today's what, September 8th? The 9th. Today is September 9th. This morning at 9-11, I noticed that down at Ground Zero, they actually had a ceremony where everybody stopped working and they rang the horns. Wow. A whole bunch of horns. Now, what I've learned when I was younger in the Bible, whenever you hear those horns, that represents Raphael's horn. So that means we in the last days, we in the last days of this system right and things are about to really flip over well i definitely get that feeling mm -hmm. I, I don't i i can't see why why it wouldn't i mean this is not sustainable anyway you know what right, i'm saying it's right. not sustainable right and you can see like people are falling to pieces people are falling apart you know we've been through a lot and a lot of folks are feeling the effects of where we've been and where we are right now you okay. know a lot of the ways that we're behaving you know it's, it's not normal it's not normal, it's not healthy. And we are, unfortunately, a lot of us are really breaking down. And so I'm hoping, I mean, what, what my work is about is just trying to help. I don't, I'm not gonna say that I'm helping people, but it's more tapping something in okay. people or telling people, look, look, this is what you can do. And facilitating folks helping themselves. Do you see what I mean? Because everybody out here is powerful. And so I'm not somebody who, you know, I'm, I'm out here, I know this and that and the other about some herbs, I can save you. No, no, no. You and the herbs and the earth can save yourselves, but we can together as a community get that knowledge back together and use it, you know, to strengthen us. So exactly. that's... That's, that's my thing. It's a facilitator in a sense. You know what I mean? So how do we contact you again? You can contact me at E-T-A-L-L-I-E -L -L -E at yahoo.com. And you can go to Ikere, which is E-K-E-R-E-T-A-L-L-I-E.com. And there you can click on the Sage Honey, and there are a lot of videos up there, and Caprice knows it's all just out there for the public. I love it. I love the work you're doing. Thank and you. I hope that the bees also can recover so that you can continue on in your work with the, the absolute honey. You Give got thanks. the absolute honey. You know, Give the thanks. honey with the mints and all of that? Yes, and yes. different herbs and all that. Oh, I'm like, you, okay. You like that. You like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, well, yeah. honey. 
that's been healing people for thousands of years. It's true. You it's know? true. Yes. So I don't see why that should stop then and stop now. I notice a lot more bees, by the way. Yeah, people and people are having rooftop gardens. Do you know that there are rooftop? You know there are rooftop Very gardens important. here. Yes. Yeah, because in the city limits, it's illegal to have a bee colony. Well, they've changed that now. Do you oh, yeah? know it's, it's not like that anymore? It's legal didn't to know. beekeep now. I didn't know. Yes, it's That's, legal. Wow. Give thanks, right? Every time. Yeah, give thanks. So you are a reborn queen of the now, <laughs> and I encourage you to keep up all of the good work, all right? Thank you, good for you. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. See you soon, all right? One love.